Welcome back to the channel guys. We're once again at Brighton Pier, my local dive spot, but this time I have a cameraman along with me to film me. <laughs> Pretty much my plan is to swim out, get under the pier, on the way stop off at the shipwreck that's there, check that for spider crabs, once under the pier probably scout out, look for black bream, mullet, maybe the odd bass, taking my main man Greg with me on the free diving lesson, so yeah, we shall see. When spearfishing, I have a bit of a routine. I start off scouting the shallow areas just to warm up the ears and the equalisation so the drums don't pop or crackle. Then I head slightly out deeper, start diving that for about half an hour just to get me prepared for the front end of the pier. I thought the visibility was going to be better than it was, but it was manageable. This rocky patch is just before the wreck. I like to give it a scout, because once again, you usually find a place somewhere. I scout this area probably for about 10 minutes, but there's nothing here, so we carry on. Next stop will be the shipwreck, and then the pier. When hunting place, you want to keep an eye out for their two little eyeballs. They rely on their camouflage quite a lot, so you can generally get within two meters before they'll even move. After shooting the fish, I swim straight towards it, grabbing either end of the spear, keeping the fish on. I'll try and get a shot that kills it straight away. We always dispatch the fish as quick as we can by placing the knife straight into the fish's head, giving it a twist. I like to bleed the fish straight after dispatching it, as I find it helps keep the flavour when we freeze it. We make it to the wreck, and then I found this guy. He's a little tucked away at the back of the wreck, so I grab him with one hand, luckily the one with my glove on. I decide to ascend with this one with both hands. I decide to take the gun down with me this dive. I always check the sides while I swim along, just in case there's something in there hiding. But as I get to the rear, I spot a rasp. I had a clear shot, so I took it. He actually swam out the rear window, so I tried to retrieve him, but I don't think the flopper opened up properly. Yep, there it is. Ah. Flopper never opened and it got away. We make it to the pier. I generally find that black bream sit higher up in the water, hidden in amongst the metal beams. 
there's a certain point where a metal beam doesn't come all the way up and they actually circle all the way around it. Because the visibility isn't that good as you can see, it's quite dark and milky, I generally change my diving technique for this part. I swim down parallel with the metal beams to give me reference to where I am and the depth that I'm going. I just find it helps me mentally because it is quite eerie down there. I decide to stay in one position and use the old fish calling grunt as you can hear. This guy came out and checking what the grunt was from his hiding spot and I had a clear shot so I took it. <sighs> Again, dispatching it as quick as I can, putting it out of his misery. Now we got flatty, big brown crab. Oh, I'm not sure the name of it. Look at that. My ET is coming hope you enjoyed the video guys and a massive thank you for Greg for coming out and filming me. And I look forward to doing more work with you in the future. Yeah.